would help a lot. It would help tremendously and it would help the United States most. Because I noticed Sarah Palin, who thinks she'll be a candidate for president, <laughs> uh, has wrote, written this book about American exceptionalism. Yeah. Now, just the idea, I'm different. You know, I'm an exceptional country. It's, it's the ground for arrogance. But that ground for arrogance then also creates the ground for ignorance. You know, once you say I'm the smartest, you don't have to know. You don't have to know how others live. This time, Time or Newsweek, one of the magazines I was reading, um, a very beautiful thing on Iran. And so when you look towards Iran, listen to the young people. Don't listen to the mullahs. Because the mullahs give you the mirror reflection of what you want to hear. And then there are these beautiful girls like you all saying, why do the Americans think we don't have a life? Why do the Americans think that we don't know what we want to be free about? You know? And there are these young faces speaking as you would speak about what you see as your visions, your dreams. So um, an America that steps back would give itself more chance to listen to others. And in listening to others would realize so many things. One, I think if America stepped back, we wouldn't have to take off our shoes at American airports. That would stop. <laughs> shoes and belts. I don't have to have a belt. but <laughs> um, And I think that not only would America be able to give more of what it is really good about America, but I think what's good about America is its democracy. Not in the fake sense of aggression of others, but in the real sense of freedom for people. And I think the other thing that would benefit America a lot is right now, because America is you know, governed by this idea of we are the top, there's no accountability of corporations who are running, who are stealing the economy from America and taking it to China. Yeah? And I think that's a very serious loss. So if America stepped back, it would also step back and say, but the economy should belong to local community. The economy should generate jobs for the future. The economy should not just be cheapest goods with the highest profits, which is the economy of today.